What's up YouTube, this is Matt and today I have a very special video for you guys. With the rapidly decreasing prices of SSDs, the idea of having an SSD or all SSD storage inside of your system has become a more and more viable option as time goes on. So today I'm going to be doing a comparison between hard drives and SSDs. At this point in time, a budget SSD like the OCZ Triumph 150 offers 240 gigabytes of capacity for around $50 to $60 depending if it's on rebate or not. Also for around $50 to $60 you can get the de facto standard for PC storage, a 1TB Western Digital Blue mechanical hard drive. With that being said, the WD Blue gives you much more storage for your money at around 5 cents per gigabyte compared to around 21 cents per gigabyte with the SSD. So the question is, why does the SSD cost so much more and is it worth it? So there's a lot of benefits of SSDs over mechanical hard drives that come down to much more than faster file transfer speeds. Where the SSD shines is when reading a bunch of small files like for example in OS or program files. This results in what I found to be a boot up time that is over twice as fast as the mechanical drive, faster program loading times, and overall increased snappiness of the system. So another big factor of storage is durability. In terms of actual physical durability, SSDs win by a long shot, seeing that there is no physical moving parts. This combined with the lower heat output makes them the obvious choice for portable devices. In terms of how long they can read and write, SSDs usually can take a lot more reading but can be quickly worn out if written too frequently. But with normal use, they should easily last the lifetime of your system. Mechanical drives can take both substantial reading and writing before errors will begin to occur. So as you can see, SSDs provide a lot of benefits over mechanical hard drives, and if you only have around $60 to spend on storage and can live with 240GB of storage, then I would highly recommend picking up a budget 240GB SSD like the Triumph 150 featured in this video. And even if 240 gigabytes isn't enough, I would still recommend getting the SSD first, then saving up to get an additional hard drive to work in tandem in the future. Because even though I do not think the price is right just yet to go full SSD, especially for gamers and anyone else who needs large amounts of storage, the speed and fluidity benefits of having an SSD hard drive combination are worth it, and something that I use and can't imagine switching back to all mechanical hard drive storage. So yeah guys, this was just a quick SSD versus hard drive comparison for 2016, and if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give this a thumbs up, as well as consider subscribing, and this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.